other thing is I think it's always been the case that it's quite hard to understand what a fund actually is. And I think uh, there's a lot of jargon around it. And unfortunately, um, you know, marketing departments are getting very good at using buzzwords to do with ESG impact. Uh, they use DNA too much as well. Um, and actually, the definitions of these things are morphing around. So I think we've just got to use plain English where we can. You know, we avoid these areas of the market. We're trying to gain exposure to companies that do X, Y, and Z, these particular themes. And, you know, this is what we're asking companies to do. And, you know, how we voted uh, and what we're asking companies to do is all very transparent. I think transparency and ensuring people can see everything in the fund is a way someone can sanity check it and work out whether it's right for them. I think that's the way forward. Yeah. And do you, how do you share everything that's in a fund then? Is that on, on a website or is that something that's available on request? Well, what we do is we, we have a sustainability and impact report and it has uh, the sort of sustainability and characteristics that are related to that. But at the end, there's a list of all the companies that are in there alphabetically. Um, and, you know, it's on our website and anyone can see it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I think that it's a bit of a red flag if you, if you want to invest in a sustainable or more impactful way. And uh, when you speak to your advisor, who I think is the best person to advise uh, people that aren't sort of professional investors, um, you know, if they're not able to show you all the companies that that fund their suggestions invested in, you know, I would suggest that maybe you should go and find one that does disclose all of it. Because I think there are lots of company, uh, lots of funds that do provide that information and it's readily available.